Hi, we have recently been discussing Pluta Prabhrakya Achinityam, followed by a series of optional exceptions. Iko Savarni Shakalyasya Rasvascha Nusamase Siticha Rutyakaha. And then we came to a Plutabad Pastite. A Plutabad Upastite. Now <clears throat> a Plutabad Upastite is not is not optional. It's uh, saying that uh, when a Upastita follows, a Pluta shall be a Plutavat. Now today we have a, a, a sutra which uh, I like for a number of reasons. For one thing, it starts out with an actual Pluta. And I will apologize probably again <clears throat> because uh, my uh, idea of a, a Pluta may not be completely as it should be. So 6 1 one thirty ninety nine in Siddhanta Kalmadi e Chakravar Manasya. <clears throat> so as I said, it it starts out with a um, an actual Pluta and when you're learning and reciting uh, the sutras that stands out, at least it did to me. E chakravarmanasya. And we have another voice other than Shakalya, Chakravarmana, Chakravarmana. So e chakravarmanasya. Six one one thirty. <clears throat> Anuvarti here is achi a plutavat, achi a plutavat. However, not to give too much away, what is not anuvarti is upastita or upastite. So the full sutra is achi pare saptami chakra varmanasya mate i a plutavat syat. Achi pare Chakravarmanasya mate i aplutavat syat. According to Chakravarmana's opinion, when ach follows, the preceding pluta i shall be considered as a non pluto. In this case, as far as I can tell, there is no. Uh, ambivalence about saying that Chakravarmana's uh, name is being used both in recognition and to signal that this is optional. As you know, that was a whole to do about Shakalya. Um, so let's see how that works out. Chinuhi iti. Chinuhi iti has two options. One is that uh, the uh, Pluta is, remains Pluta, in which case we have Prakriti Pava, and it remains Chinuhi Iti. The other is that the uh, Pluta I is taken as if it were not a Pluta, so we get Santi and we get Chinuhi Ti by Akasavarne Dergaha. Akasavarne Dergaha. Chinuhi Iti. The Chinuhi Ti. Now, that results, that, that's really well, the, the, the heart of the matter, but it has some interesting uh, ramifications. <clears throat> As I mentioned, a Plutabhadupastite is not an optional sutra. In that sense, e chakravarmanasya is an exception with two effects. First one is when iti follows, sandhi is allowed optionally. 
as in the example we just gave, where we got uh, Chinuhiti, or, well, Chinuhiti. Um, now, the uh, one uh, fine point that I pointed out is it didn't say anything about Upastite. So this does not have to be an Upastita Iti. This is, uh, could be any Iti following a Pluta E ending word. <clears throat> now, the second effect of this sutra is that uh, for other e ending words followed by ach, other e ending words followed by ach, prakriti pava now becomes optional. As we said, aplutabhadupastite is mandatory, but um, uh, in this case, other e ending words such as chinuhi idam chinuhi idam or chinuhi dam that's meant to be dirga so it's not just iti it's not just iti um both of which are i think you know it they seem almost contradictory but i think they're really two sides of the same coin and uh well, there's one more reason that uh, thing that it appeals to me about this, because the first example we gave of uh, Chinuhi Iti is an example of a sutra, one of my all time favorites, as part of a series, Duratu Techa. Duratu Techa. That's why that was my uh, another attempt at an Udata Pluta. Because Vakisya Tehe Plut Udataha Pratipivade Shudre Striyamna and so on until Haihe Prayoge Haihe Yoho Duratu Techa. So when calling from a distance, and this one is saying, you guys get together, you gather, Chinuhi, you guys get together. So that is calling from a distance and uh, it is so natural, it's making something grammatical, so uh, making something natural grammatical. So when we call from a distance, we say, hey, you, or whatever, um, and that is an udata pluta, and that is an absolutely technical uh, form in, in the grammar. Uh, 